Hey, Amy Scott Grant, your favorite spiritual ass kicker here. And do you ever get feel like you're getting confusing messages from the universe? Right? That's kind of annoying. Right? It might be you might be checking in with your pendulum and you're like, wow, that seems conflicting with what I got yesterday or this other question that I'm asking. Or it could just be your intuition, like the way that it comes in feels muddy or confusing or whatever. It's happened to all of us at some point, okay? And I wanna give you a couple pointers for handling that, right? So in my experience, if there's an intensity to the confusion, right? Like if it's if you're almost feeling like you have anxiety because this isn't sorted, this isn't clear, you feel like different messages are coming at you from different directions. Usually if that happens, then either there's some kind of negative entity, like you may have picked up a negative entity in your field. I think I have some videos here on the YouTube channel about like how to clear negative entities. Um, if not, post a comment, let me know if you can't find them and I'll create some. Cause I know I've done, re I've done trainings on that before inside Club Clarity in my private Facebook group, which you're welcome to join. There's a link in the, in this the description of this video. Um, and when you request to join, make sure you say you saw it on my YouTube channel. That way I know you're not like some rando off the street, right? <laughs> but that we actually have a connection. Um, yeah, so you may have picked up a negative entity or usually it's either that or you have strong attachment, right? Like you want it, you either have strong attachment to it happening a certain way. Like I really want it to be this. Why is it telling me this, but also this, that's annoying. Or you have really strong attachment to, um, having it settled, right? I can tell you that I'm a person who very much loves completion. I love completion. I'm kind of obsessed with completion. Uh, I'm happy when like, you know, the last of the mustard gets used up and I'm also happy when a big project ends and I'm also happy when, you know, I finish a book, whether I'm reading the book or writing the book, right? Like, so I love completion. And the fact that I love completion so much sometimes interferes with my ability to stay in flow and allow divine timing to unfold, right? Because sometimes I'm like, I'll give you a perfect example, summer camps. I know, right? <laughs> like, so I start thinking about what camps I'm gonna put my kids in for summer in about January. Right now, no one has even posted their information about summer camps. I And I know it's different in different parts of the world, in different parts of the US. Here in Colorado, you pretty much go to school through Memorial Day and then you're off all of June, all of July and like the first couple weeks of August, okay? So our like summer for kids in school here is June, July and the first half of August. And I don't, I don't put my kids in nonstop camps. They have tons of downtime, right? But I just, I swear like in January, I'm like, okay, so I think, okay, so I think this one's gonna want a theater camp and then this one needs like some kind of athletic camp and this one, like it just starts, it starts in my mind. And usually around March is, Mar February, March is when everybody starts like announcing. I mean, by everybody, I mean local businesses and stuff. Start announcing what they're offering which weeks, which themes, you know, theater camp's a big deal because it's like, well, what show is it? That's the determining factor for my kids. Like, is it a show they want to do or not? So, um, and there's different theater companies. So it's like, which one's doing which show and whatever. And then sports camps and Taekwondo camp, right? And all of this stuff. I mean, there's just, there's infinite options. But it's definitely one of those things that if I had my way, everybody would be signed up, paid and registered by like Valentine's Day. I don't know why. It just, as soon as that's complete, my mind like settles and I'm like, okay, I know what the summer looks like. And I don't even, like I said, I don't have to have the whole summer planned out, but because they have tons of downtime, they don't, they aren't even all in camps at the same time, but it just is one of those things that I want completion. So what can happen is you could see how if company A put out their schedule in January, if I actually did that, if I was actually like had my kids all signed up by everything for Valentine's Day, 
imagine that what, what that would look like, right? It means that only the opportunities that were posted by February is what I would be picking from and giving to my children like, here, okay, do you wanna do this or this? Which one do you wanna do? Cause I wanna get it registered, right? So we'd be all signed up and you know what would happen late March, something new would be announced like, oh, now it's such and such camp. The kids are like, oh, I want to do that. Camp already paid and signed up for this other thing or up uh, already decided that's the week we're taking family vacation or already blew your budget for what we're spending for you for the summer or whatever. So if we stay in divine timing, none of that is an issue right? Because we just stay in the flow and it's like, then we we just get these intuitive hits like, oh, now's the time to go ahead and book this. Now's the time to look into this. Now's the time to move forward on that. When that happens, you, you don't ever have to worry about the thing you want being sold out because whatever is perfect for you is going to be perfectly available and accessible to you. Okay. So that's the other reason usually if you feel an intensity and even almost an anxiety around confusing messages that appear to be coming in it's either some kind of negative entity is attached to your field and that's influencing your ability to receive clear information like it's kind of like crossing your wires basically or you've got attachment either to a certain outcome or you just want it complete like me like i want i want summer camp plan boom <laughs> and usually i don't have it all settled until like mid to late April, right? But I would love to have it early, but that's fine. That's like six weeks before summer starts, okay? It's reasonable. But <clears throat> but if I push that my, if my desire for completion is driving me, then I'm missing those divine opportunities and the same thing could be happening to you. Now, if you don't have that intensity, you're just like, no, no, it's confusing, then you probably have either something to clear or to clear out from your head. And the easiest way to do that is, are you familiar with the brain dump? You just get a pen, you get a notebook and you just start writing every thought you have. Oh my God, I have too much to do, blah, 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 blah. I can't figure this out. This is so confused. Like you just write everything until there's nothing else to write. It's kind of like spring cleaning your garage. If you took everything out of it and then you go, ha, huh, right? And then you could choose what goes back in and where. So the brain dump works like the same way. So if you brain dump everything and then you just go do something else, then the information that comes in will usually be exactly what you need to know. All right. So I hope that was helpful if you're getting confusing messages from the universe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.